Hi everyone, this is Lena and welcome to my YouTube tutorial channel where today we're going to make some spooky Halloween craft. So I'm just rummaging through my ever expanding pile of wood. So I'm just going to select a bit and I've kindly asked my husband if he can just cut the wood down to size and cut some little um, triangle pieces out of the wood for me. So here you can see the tops where they've been cut into a point like a V shape and that's exactly what we need for today's craft. So now I've uh, got my pieces of wood ready, I'm just going to give them a light sanding down just removing any splinters, any sharp edges and just moving out the pieces of wood so that I can later paint them. So now that the two pieces are, have been sanded down, I'm just going to use some black charcoal chalk paint and just giving my pieces of wood uh, one coat. So now uh, both my pieces of wood have dried, I'm just going to give them a little uh, sanding down and just bring back some of the natural wood.
So here you can see the difference in colour, one is sanded down and the other one is still painted and just to show you the effect that it has if you give them a light sanding down after you've chalk painted. So next I'm just going to use some clear wax just to protect my wood. Next I'm also using some white wax just to blend in with the black charcoal um, chalk paint just to give it a little bit more of effect. So now it's time to decorate. So I'm using some raffia to create a bow around my uh, piece of wood. And I'm also using some slanted cat's eyes, little googly eyes, but you can also paint these by hand so you don't have to use the googly eyes if you don't have any to hand you can usually just use some white paint and the black marker pen for a dot Next I'm going to use some wires and wrapping it around a barbecue skewer to create some curly whiskers. Um, you can also spray paint the whiskers in black or you can hand paint it in black that will add it a, li a little bit more of effect I've just left them in silver but you can paint them in various colours So to um, keep these 
whiskers in place I'm just going to use my electric stapler and just tying them together and then stapling two down at a time. So these are how the cats came out, <laughs> super cute, and you can paint them in various colours, they don't have to be black, and you can use them for Christmas and the fall or Easter, anything like that, and it's such an easy craft to do, so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave your comments below and share with your friends, and thank you for watching my tutorial, and I'll see you again soon, bye!